Recently, there was an unusual solar storm forming a colossal fire canyon on the sun's surface. NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory showed a vivid animation of this huge ejection of charged plasma. These solar winds, traveling at an astounding 600 kilometers per second, 372 miles per second, traversed the vast expanse of space and collided with Earth's magnetosphere on August 9, 2022, igniting a breathtaking display of auroras that adorn the skies from Maine to New York. However, amidst the splendor lies a warning. Scientists say this time we were just lucky. If a more powerful solar storm hit the Earth instead of a brilliant celestial show, it could have ended in disaster. History has witnessed the destructive power of such events on at least two occasions in the past, leaving us pondering the implications of the approaching peak of solar activity in 2023. Now our Sun is once again nearing its maximum activity and the likelihood of another powerful burst of plasma is increasing. Solar wind is created when a stream of high-energy particles can no longer be held back by the Sun's gravity. Scientists think these solar winds blast from large dark spots on the star, called coronal holes. The Sun is a huge distance from Earth, and yet coronal mass ejections can reach us in between two to six days. But the highest energy particles can overcome the same distance in just hours. Redirected by the planet's magnetic field, most of these energetic particles are redirected towards the poles, while only a select few penetrate our atmosphere, causing the atoms to give off light. However, there are moments when the sun's fury surpasses our imagination, as extremely powerful solar flares unleash an energy of about 5 times 10 to the 25 joules. That's roughly equal to millions of 100 megaton hydrogen bombs. During these intense solar storms, plasma races through space at twice its usual velocity, pounding the Earth's magnetic field with a force that pierces or deforms it. These tumultuous encounters give rise to the formation of geomagnetic storms, the most severe of which have the potential to trigger catastrophic disasters. Back in history, on September 2, 1859, British astronomer Richard Carrington observed a giant solar flare. Just 18 hours later, our planet was struck by one of the most formidable geomagnetic storms ever recorded. Telegraphs across Europe and North America stopped working, and many telegraph poles caught fire. People could see the northern lights almost all over the planet. Although humanity recuperated relatively swiftly from this calamity, our civilization wasn't as dependent on electricity as it is now. The impact of another major solar storm in March 1989, though less potent, plunged the entire Canadian province of Quebec into darkness, leaving millions without electricity for a staggering 12 hours. Now, the prospect of a solar outburst of Carrington event magnitude looms ominously, heralding potential catastrophe. Historically, scientists believed such solar storms were rare, occurring once in a century. However, groundbreaking research by the University of Warwick and the British Antarctic Survey unveiled a startling revelation Powerful magnetic storms are more frequent than previously thought. The Sun's activity follows an approximately 11-year cycle, reaching a zenith of violent outbursts where charged particles relentlessly target our planet. Thorough analysis of Earth's magnetic field changes confirm the most formidable bursts of geomagnetic activity correspond to the Sun's most potent explosions. During their investigation, the scientific team identified two types of dangerous events for Earth. First, there are strong magnetic superstorms, which happen about every three years. These storms can affect individuals sensitive to weather changes, but generally don't cause significant disruptions to technology. The second type is the rarest and most destructive, the mega-strong storms, which occur even less frequently. Throughout the span of over 150 years, only six such events have been recorded. This suggests that these tumultuous cosmic events occur approximately every 25 years, with no megastorms transpiring in the past two decades. However, scientists anticipate that the next colossal outburst is looming on the horizon. In 2012, a massive and potentially perilous solar eruption did occur, albeit with the solar wind veering in the opposite direction, barely grazing our planet's surface. As we await the advent of the next monumental solar flare, our fortune may not hold as firmly. The exact consequences in such a scenario cannot yet be predicted, but one thing is certain, 
the skies will light up with stunning auroras around the world. There's also a possibility that among these auroras, a special kind called a Strong Thermal Emission Velocity Enhancement, or Steve, may appear. These enchanting auroras, glowing purple or white ribbons, were observed during the August 2022 geomagnetic storm, even as far south as Pennsylvania. Scientists still don't fully understand this optical phenomenon, but it frequently occurs during solar storms. However, Steve is not merely a celestial light show. Scientists have valid concerns that this radiant spectacle could be accompanied by a catastrophic megastorm, which could unleash havoc upon our technological infrastructure. Imagine electronic and aviation equipment faltering, communications breaking down, power grids in chaos, and satellites struggling to maintain their orbit. The destructive events might even reach the depths of the ocean, endangering underwater communication cables and causing a prolonged internet blackout. The potential financial toll of such an event is staggering, with estimates reaching billions if not trillions of dollars. If solar winds of this power hit our planet in 2012, some countries probably wouldn't have fully recovered up to this date. Still, the absence of technological amenities pales in comparison to the myriad of other catastrophic effects that solar storms can trigger, like droughts, floods, earthquakes, and tsunamis. Notably, periods of heightened and fluctuating solar activity correlate with a surge in the frequency of seismic activity. The devastating magnitude 9.1 earthquake that ravaged Indonesia in 2004, unleashing a massive tsunami and leaving a trail of destruction in its wake, serves as a haunting testament to the potential perils entwined with solar storms. The consequences were also felt by nations such as India, Thailand, Bangladesh, the Maldive Islands, Sri Lanka, and Somalia, resulting in a tragic loss of over 283,000 lives, with thousands missing and over a million rendered homeless. Now, as the sun approaches its peak activity in the 11-year cycle, our vigilance becomes even more crucial. Yet, even after stormy activity subsides in 2024, can we truly heave a sigh of relief? A recent revelation by scientists has unearthed a disconcerting truth. A potent geomagnetic storm possesses the audacity to defy the 11-year solar activity cycle, abruptly assailing our planet during the sun's seemingly tranquil phase. Echoing this disconcerting finding, a captivating episode from our past has been unveiled through a new analysis of ancient ice samples sourced from Greenland and Antarctica. It divulges a cataclysmic solar storm that wreaked unprecedented havoc on Earth 9,200 years ago. These disquieting discoveries serve as poignant reminders that the destructive solar storms can strike when least expected, underscoring the imperative of remaining ever vigilant. To avoid being caught off guard, many governments have prioritized space weather forecasts as a key scientific advancement. One of the promising initiatives is the renowned Parker Solar Probe, which ventures closer to the sun than any previous spacecraft. This proximity allows it to detect coronal emissions faster than others. The data collected by the Parker Solar Probe will help scientists track the region of a storm's formation on the sun more accurately and potentially determine its direction. In addition, NASA and the European Space Agency launched the Solar Orbiter Probe in 2020. It is currently orbiting the sun in an elliptical path with its closest point at a distance of 42 million kilometers, 26 million miles, from the sun's surface. The probe has already sent back incredible images of the sun, revealing small bright spots and unusual dark objects that move and vibrate. Scientists have dubbed these phenomena campfires, and they likely contribute to raising the temperature of the sun's corona and generating solar winds. Meanwhile, scientists are exploring ways to safeguard Earth from space threats, Recently, Japanese researchers at the National Institute for Fusion Science have developed a project aimed at creating an artificial geomagnetic field. Geophysicists have observed that the planet's own magnetic field has weakened by about 10% over the past 150 years, raising concerns about its ability to withstand highly accelerated charged solar particles. To address this issue, scientists propose launching 12 superconducting rings around the Earth to bolster its geomagnetic field. However, it should be noted that this solution would only compensate for the 10% of magnetism that has been lost. Interestingly, 
NASA's space probes have also discovered a naturally occurring energy barrier around the planet, which is the result of human activity interacting with cosmic particles through very low-frequency radio waves. The presence of this barrier was detected using Van Allen probes, which study electrons and ions in the space surrounding Earth. The signals transmitted from radio telescopes have formed a large bubble of energy that envelops the Earth, extending all the way to the inner edge of the Van Allen radiation belts. These belts collect charged particles from the solar wind, which can pose a threat to the Earth's magnetosphere. Scientists believe that, without this protective bubble, the radiation belt boundary would be much closer to Earth than it currently is. In the 1960s, when low-frequency communications were less common, the inner boundary of the Van Allen radiation belt was much closer to the surface of our planet. Do you believe that this type of shield can effectively protect us from the consequences of the most alarming solar storms? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section. Thank you for watching.